So how to pick slows. Some of them actually are going, always avoid these ones because they're gone, yeah. the ones which are frazzled. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. It's just windburn. And then we're going to come up with some delicious, some delicious gin, slow gin. Okay, so having picked the slows, we've um, rinsed the slows. We place them in the freezer for a couple of days. We've taken them out. We re-rinse them and place them back in the freezer um, once again for one more day. What this does, it saves having to prick each individual slow. Um, so the freezing process crushes the, the slows, then we don't have to prick it. And then the juice just oozes out. This is what we do every year. It always works fantastically. So we have our Kilmer jar. We have our one litre of gin. Uh, this year we've gone for Gordon's dry gin. No particular reason other than it being our special offer. And we have plenty of slows here already. They're slight, they haven't defrosted totally, but it doesn't matter. So all we're gonna do is place the slows into the jar. Uh, there's no set pattern as to how much we use. Um, it's more or less a, a guesstimate. Um, it's quite a nice process. You can see how ripe these slows are. And we're gonna go to about halfway before adding the gin. What we also do then is to add just three tablespoons of sugar. We add granulated sugar. We do that every year. Uh, many recipes say you need to add caster sugar, but we find that granulated sugar works absolutely fine and um, always works fine. So what we do, we add the gin, then add the sugar. We give this a good stir and then we place it in a dark, cool cupboard and every two days we give this a bit of a stir. Uh, it can be two, three, four days, that's fine. We leave it for three months and then by Christmas time it's going to be ready and it's going to be fantastic. So once again, we're going to add the gin in a second, we're going to add the sugar and if possible we will add a few more slows to the jar. Okay, so we've got our Gordon's Gin. This is my, always my favourite part. We're going to um, brand new bottle of Gordon's Gin. We're going to pop this into the jar. 100% neat gin. And as I say, we're going to add the sugar and we're going to add any further slows when there's space. Because we like a nice, sweet, slow gin. Always nice. And this will obviously defrost all of the slows. Um, and you don't want to fill the jar right up to the top. It needs to have a bit of breathing space. So we're just going to add one or two more slows in there now. So it's nice and juicy. Nice and juicy. Always smells delicious. Mm. Um, so we're going to add just a few more, a few more slows, just like that. And that will just about do us. So we're going to add three tablespoons of sugar. Just get my spoon. Please be doing the cooking at the same time. So three tablespoons. And there we go. So one. And you can always add further sugar in the final process. There we go. So three tablespoons. Give that a bit of a stir, like so. And then what we normally do every year. Once that's in there, what we'd normally do is just pop that like that. Give it another little, little stir like that. And as I say, we're going to find a nice, dark, dark, cool place. We're going to leave that for three months and then we'll go through that process in three months time. In the meantime, we just have a sit back and wait. So thank you for watching. Okay, so fast forward three months and we just had Christmas and what I've done now, I've had the, the bottle of slow, slow gin brewing away in the cupboard. I've shaken it every two or three days, given it a good shake. And now I've just poured it into a jug with some muslin and you'll see now I have some beautiful, dark, rich coloured slow gin in this jug here. I'm going to pour that shortly into this um, gin gin bottle just to make it easy to pour out and I decided what to do with the remaining um, slows seems a real waste to throw those away um, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious recipe for port wine so I hope you've enjoyed the video um, if you have please do subscribe to my channel 
and most of most of all enjoy your delicious slow gin thanks for watching and happy new year okay and just so you can see i'm going to show you how to pour the um the slow gin into the uh, already prepared bottle and you'll see the lovely color i always use muslin I'll try and pour it over a thing over a um bowl what the muslin does it gets rid of lots of the sediment and obviously stops the slow the slows coming through important not to waste any of this delicious brew so you'll see afterwards what a beautiful color and a beautiful rich aroma can't describe it and I've made this is a litre bottle so it should just be enough just to go inside almost there just the final bit coming through now not made too much of a mess thankfully sediment at the bottom which I'm going to leave, leave in the jar. So there we go. Just going to give that a bit of a wipe. So that's our mm, beautiful smelling 2015 slow wine. So we'll enjoy a bottle of that this evening. Okay once again thank you for watching.